Hey guys, welcome back to the Steel Donut. Today it is just me, Connor, and Yella. Yo. And we have another pack of stories for you guys. These are three stories all in the miscellaneous movies category on fanfiction.net. So, the site has this miscellaneous category, and then like, miscellaneous books, movies, you know, games, whatever. All that stuff that you just feel like throwing in there. Not particularly because there's not a category for it already, but just because you want to throw it in there. Basically, you know, so. the site has categories that exist for the sake of existing. Yeah, so I It mean, is any, quite magical. Anything goes. So I walked into this category with that in mind, and I found garbage. So we've got three stories for you guys. This first one will be called Shelly and Oliver, Natalie and Colby, and Joanne and Steve Story 5 by uh, Twilight Bella. All right. Magical. The description about Shelly, Oliver, Joanne, Steve, Colby, and Natalie, and other Zeta sisters. <gasps> Not the just these? Like, six fucks? What? I, maybe they ran out of title space. They wanted to put in everyone, but mm. the title wouldn't let them. Maybe maybe that five is like the other five Zeta sisters, whoever those are. Yeah, no, maybe it's the fifth part of the title. Oh, man. Yeah. Shelley Darlington gets kicked out of this mansion because she is 27 years old. Brr, brr, it's your 27th birthday, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what is that even? Okay, th this is really just soup. throwing you in there. It's because she's 27 years old, yeah. Well, it's really just throwing you in there in, into this story, like, yeah. sudden yeah. statement. She then spends the night in jail for just brushing her teeth. In her car. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, I get confused every other... I want to know the laws and re rules and regulations of this place. I want, like, all court documents. Like, you know, it's, I it's, gotta it's, sift through that to find it's, out It's what's like going brushing on. your teeth in your car. Is it, like, indecent exposure or something? Like, Yeah, what? no one wants to see those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> They're yellow and grimy as fuck, man. Keep your mouth closed. Uh, let let's let me let's just see let let, let let's just continue yeah, yeah. on the sentence <laughs> yeah, because I, it, was, it wasn't maybe, even a maybe sentence she yet. spends the night in jail for just brushing her teeth in her car and flashing people on the street yeah see that would make more sense and then gets out the next day apparently not. nope nope just and find <laughs> and finds this sorority and then one of the house mothers at another sorority told her to go to this sorority that might lose their house if they don't get 30 pledges. Man, this story's, like, way passive. Like, th this is, like, this is what you would tell some... This is how you, you would uh, try to explain something to somebody if you are telling them about a movie. Yeah. I'm just gonna imagine this story as, like, some 60-year-old grandma, no, too young, some 80-year-old grandma is sitting back in her chair drinking tea out of a pot with a cat's face on it and saying all this to you, and you're just nodding and going, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to do that, so I guess you play the role of the grandma. All right, fantastic. Role play. Yeah. Which is the Zeta house? So she goes to the Zeta house mm -hmm. and becomes their new house mother. So then she is washing her car, and this guy named Oliver Nelson, who owns mm -hmm, a retirement mm -hmm, yeah, home, yeah, I heard you. and yeah. she goes mm -hmm. over to him, and she gets his flyer. Mm, yeah, interesting. She, she then yeah. tells the Zeta girls about Oliver Nelson, and she goes to take a shower, well, and then they me? go no, to I'm this club where no, the other going. sororities and frater fraternizes... <laughs> Fraternizes. <laughs> Fratern fraternizes. I thought that was a verb, not a thing. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be fraternities, but whatever. Are mean and then let a pig in the Zeta house with a shirt that says Zeta. A real pig or someone who just ate up all the food? I don't who know. Knows? It's not explained. Yeah, you can't. Your a your pig. story is not very well explained, Miss Bella. Please, please explain better. Thank you. 
Fuck. <laughs> Shelly and Oliver go on their first date and Oliver oh. leaves her. Then later on she goes on their yeah. second date with Oliver that didn't turn out either. Yeah, um, yeah I'm hearing that. No. She then leaves the Zeta house to become Miss November yeah. but then decided not to do that. And Natalie says Marvin called the Zeta sisters. <laughs> Who the oh, this fuck is, is Marvin? Picture. Oh, I'm looking at some funny cat pictures. Oh, no, no, I'm listening. Go ahead. Who the fuck is Marvin even? Like, the name came out of nowhere. You don't know who Marvin is, dude? Come on, everyone knows Marvin. Well, he is not in the title. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, you know who Marvin is? Oh, well, Bob's not here at the moment, so... Yeah, I was... I'll ask him later. Okay, good. Then they go and try to get the Zeta house back and they get the 30 pledges and a new girl named Ashley who is also not in the title. All these names of people. Who oh, are she's a new girl, okay? I guess. Moves to the Zeta house. Then Oliver comes to bring flowers to Shelly and they start dating again. Aww. Aww. I hate Oliver so yeah. much. Yeah, and then you're going to take out a picture from your purse and show me them. And I'm going to be like, that's nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Natalie dates Colby and Joanne dates Steve. The Zeta sisters throw a party for Shelley. And she says when her and Oliver kiss, she says it's like magic. And he says it's like fireworks and the story with the glass slipper, which is Cinderella. You know Cinderella, right? Everyone knows Cinderella. I, mean, <laughs> I know like, that like, one, yes. It was that movie, you know, that movie Cinderella. I watched it like five times in a row, you know? Yeah. But you I, think, like, the two are kissing, and then their groups <laughs> pull them apart, and there's, like, news cameras and a microphone. It's like, what do you think about her kiss? What do you think about her kiss? Is it like fireworks? Is or, it like or is that, it like uh, magic? Is it like the story with the glass slipper? Oh, sorry, that's Cinderella you might not know, so I'm going to fill in for you. I, I'm just going to explain Cinderella to you real quick. Just, it'll take just a few minutes. I'm going to tell you the whole history of it, so, uh, you know, sit down for a while. <laughs> Maybe the grandma's doing the interview. <laughs> Then Oliver and Shelley go to this fancy restaurant and they have dinner and Oliver tells Shelley to close her eyes and she does and Oliver goes over to her and tells her to open her eyes and he is down on one knee <gasps> and he uh. says Shelley Darlington will you marry me and I love you and want to spend the rest of my life with you she says yes and they go back to the Zeta house and tell the Zeta sisters that they are getting married so you're going to summarize... I'm assuming this is like a book or a movie or well, something. I, you're going to summarize... Sing, I think like, movie, considering the category. You're going to summarize, like, all of that, and then you're going to, like, write out the entire line that said... Like, maybe this point really hit home with this person. Maybe they're like, one day when I get married, it's going to be just like that. Maybe. The Zeta sisters congratulate them, and they have the wedding a year later. Oliver gets chairs from the retirement home and the tent. From the retirement home? Well, I, does he get oh. chairs from the retirement home and from a tent? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He walks into what a are, tent What are they going to do? Chairs. Dancing chairs? Like... He walks into a tent, walks out with chairs, then someone comes out like a second later going, Those are my chairs! Give them back! Uh, I was using those. I guess. Natalie is the maid of honor, and Joanne and the other Zeta sisters are the bridesmaids, and Harmony's daughter is the flower... Who the fuck is Harmony? Hey, it's not Harmony's story, okay? I okay, guess? she's not important. It's Shelley and Oliver, Natalie and Colby, and Joanne and Steve's story. A few Five. of those names I haven't seen yet. They're more important. I guess. The ring bearer is a kid from Harmony's daughter's class. So we oh, just so have just... some random girl that happens to be a classmate. Not even a friend, maybe not even. From this random woman we haven't heard of before. Well, I mean, if you'd, uh, you know... They're really... They're, they're focusing on the most important details here. You don't want to get lost in... You know, a summary is supposed to summarize. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Natalie and Joanne's boyfriend... Oh, hey, they, they share a boyfriend. Yeah. Our best man and a groomsman. And Harmony's husband is also 
also is a groomsman, and the other Zeta sisters that have boyfriends are the other groomsman. No, go ahead, I'm listening. Shelly's dad, Ryan, walks her down the aisle to Oliver, and they exchange vows and rings and now married. I'd assume that's how you do it. I guess. I mean, yeah. I've, been, I've been to a couple of weddings. Yeah. I've crashed mm. a couple weddings. Joanne and Steve. There is Steve. I hadn't seen a Steve yet. Get married sometime later, like Natalie and Colby too. What? Well, who do they get married to? Come on, you can't leave that detail out. Yeah, like... Joanne and Steve enter an official threesome with Larry. I don't know, like... <laughs> Fill us in, bro. Oh, yeah. Then Shelly has her and Oliver's baby, Lily and an eight. That's not even proper Anna. Uh, white people, you know how it is. Lily and a Nelson. Joanne yeah. and Steve have twins, Emma Lily Andrews and Michael Nathan Andrews. Same time Shelly has her and Oliver's son, Zach N- Andrew Nelson. Natalie and Colby have triplets named Matthew, Elizabeth, and Olivia. Oh, oh All... so now you're uh, not going to give the full names. No, it's not no, important, I guess. No, of course not. All their kids get married and have kids. The end. What movie was this? Was it this like even the most a movie? boring movie ever? Well. It would probably be more interesting if we actually knew things, and it wasn't just people get married and have kids. No, but that's all that the old people care about, you know? Marrying, I guess. You know, it's like, how many kids are you going to have? Am I going to be a great-grandparent? And you're like, Grandma, go away, I'm playing Candy Crush. (laughs) Wow, that's such such an accurate... Wow. All right, now that we're finally past Shelley and Oliver, Natalie and Colby, and Joanne and Steve Story 5, which is probably my second favorite title we've ever read next to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, the reckoning story of a child prequel childhood attack. Um, Just proving that I still memorized that. Yeah. Fuck. (laughs) Next up, we're moving on to our second story. Yellow, why don't you give us the title in the description? Well, this story is Illusion. By Leia Illusions. Oh, okay. The story's Uh, named after me, but yeah. uh, I guess. A girl named Alicia lives in a small village, but one day when a boy comes in his life, all will be changed, and she realized that she got psychic's powers, and she has to leave her family. One day when a boy comes in his life... See... (laughs) Commas! Okay. Prologue. At least it's not a prologue. One point uh. there. <laughs> my name is Alicia, and I'm 16. My brother named Falcon is too. Oh, white people. We live with our grandparents because our parent died in a car accident. Ha! Good times. Since that, we live in a small village close to sea. It never rain. That's cool. My brother is my best friend. We are very protected. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my brother is my best friend. We are very protector between us. <laughs> and that's it. That's illusions. Wow. So inspiring. Like <laughs> Very protector between us. Very protector indeed. <laughs> like, what is that even? This is like, How? This is worse than just like... Like writing one chapter and 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 thinking you're going to continue with a not because usually that like tries to set stuff up. This doesn't. This well, is just it, sentences. It it just it just okay. So we know we have these two like siblings, and we know their really stupid name. Like who names their kid Falcon? Don't do that. White people. <sighs> I will never name my kid Falcon. I mean, I I will never have a kid, but that's another story. No, you're going to adopt a boy named him Falcon. Adopt a girl named her Lily. <laughs> <laughs> 
but like this is just sentences like no way yeah, there is they, they had to have decided like okay i'll put this up and i'll get to it later you know like, i guess this isn't even a complete chapter okay well it's not even a prologue like uh, illusions Ill- it's an illusion is what it is yeah all right <laughs> Then we have one more story for you guys. This okay. is How the Grinch Failed to Steal Christmas. You know, it's one of those miscellaneous movies no one's heard of, The Grinch. Yeah, I mean, the... like, you're probably scratching your head going, what's that? Well, uh, well, apparently, like, I did some research, and apparently it's like this fuzzy green fellow with long fingers. Yeah, that sounds weird. I, you know, I, I guess I could see why it never took off. Yeah, exactly. Like, I guess I could see why no one's ever heard of it. Yeah. But anyway, this is um, by Reaper Bloodright. Oh, man. I don't know if that's a better name than Leia Illusions or not. <laughs> like, that, a... that implies Illusions was going to be that girl's life's work or something. Like, that's her magnum opus. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Uh, this is a story of how the Grinch attempted to steal Christmas, but was stopped somehow. Grinch OC. Like, stopped somehow. What? Stopped Bear trap. So- hit also, by a train. Also, Grinch OC. Am I going to... Ass- Do Grinch I have- XOC. Well, it's, n- it's not an X in the middle, but I was, al- I was already like, what? Well, oh, I mean, I see. No, Grinch is an OC. Grinch oh. OC. Yeah. Okay. Chapter one. You're a mean one. Strange, I thought to myself as I was wandering a cold, desolate mountainside. It started out as a fun adventure. Now it is more comparable to a horror movie. Like... Strange, I think. Not, oh god, I'm terrified. Well, I mean, who knows? Maybe this Grinch guy is like the ultimate badass. Yeah, maybe. I had almost run out of food, and the cold mountain air had made it ever the more present that it was freezing cold. What? What? Stop. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to take three left turns to take a right. Okay. <laughs> I want to take a right turn. I want to get to my destination without going around the fucking block. Stop we we it. don't we don't want a situation of somebody talking about salty excretions yeah. from their like my nose was cold <laughs> my toes were cold and i finally realized that i was freezing like <laughs> whatever i was pondering what to do wandering and looking for any place warm enough to call home for the night Yes, it was dark out. Wow. Why did you ask? Or wow. I'll assume that you were asking. I don't know. Like, yes, it was dark out. Like, well, considering you just talked about going, you know, a place to call home for the night, I would assume that, yes, it was dark out. Thanks for confirming my thoughts. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Reaper Bloodright. I have a question. Reaper, what, was, it, uh, was it dark out? Can you, can you answer that, please? Please, sir? Anyway. I had a tent neatly packed in my hiking backpack, securely strapped to my back, instead of being dragged along by my foot. I was prepared there, I guess. I had a kit specially made to make fire. Oh, which, man. <laughs> which consists of some wood, an axe, tinder, flint, my survival knife, and a lighter just in case. If you have a lighter, why are you bothering with the tinder and flint? He wants to be a mountain man, okay? He doesn't want to have to rely on this newfangled technology. I guess, but still, it seems sort of... In my backpack, I also had some canned food, enough to last me approximately two days, and this was scheduled to last another week. I fucked up my trip completely, I guess, like... I guess, I I want to know how you got to this point. Like, if you... Like, did you... Did you forget on the first few days that you had to ration your food? And did you just scarf it all down like some... Maybe he got attacked by a bear and only staved it off with cans upon cans of dried beets. Like, I don't know. I... 
Peering through my ski goggles, I noticed a cave in the distance. Although the ski mask made the task difficult, I managed to smile. Okay. I've I never will... <laughs> worn a ski mask, but does that really make it difficult to smile? Yeah, it kind of bolts your mouth in place. I guess. I walked up to the entrance and was greeted by what appeared to be an ugly green man. But it was actually a tree. I was delusional. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- Fuck are you? I questioned. Wow, language, dear yeah. sir. What the except fuck it man- is wrong it's, with? Except it actually came out as. All right, ski mask. Yeah, bolted. Yeah. I I questioned, pointing my finger at him. Why? I am the Grinch. This is my cave. You are a trespasser, creature. I do not like ugly things. In my cave. Is the Grinch pausing for breath every word or something? He was just Grinching a whole ton of people, you know? (laughs) Okay. The Grinch sneered. Yeah. The Grinch sneered, walking up to me. I was pissed. I get pissed easily. That's why I fought that bear. (laughs) I also felt He was just being so annoying. I I also felt threatened by this creature. I pulled out my survival knife. If it got too heated, I'll use my axe. What? How I took a blade to the Grinch. Like Are you <laughs> is, are we is reading he seriously this? Are going we really to reading stab this? the guy? Are we really reading a fucking story where someone pulls a knife on the Grinch? <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to look like that. It's <laughs> And if the knife doesn't work, he'll use his axe. <laughs> How I pulled a knife on the Grinch. How like, I beheaded the Grinch with an axe. We've read some bad shit by this point, but this is the dumbest shit, I think. <laughs> okay. It stared at the sharp piece of metal in my hand. That's right. You know what this is, don't you? Well, I stated, nice. pulling off my ski mask and goggles. And now he can move his mouth. Ugh. But now I realized it was cold out. Fuck. Since my face was now uncovered, what I thought would be a cold blast of air turned out to be a warm breeze. Oh Fuck. no, he's hypothermic. Fuck. He's starting to feel too hot. The Grinch Shit. better take him inside. The yeah. Grinch is his last chance. Mm. I wanted to make it apparent that I knew I had the upper hand, even though I'm not completely sure I did. What? I smirked at him, earning a Grinchy glare. That's just lame. Like, yeah. I have no other words. That's just lame. Yeah. A Grinchy glare. Get out of my cave! The Grinch screeched, sprinting at me full force. Before I had time to react, he threw me out of his cave and I rolled down the mountain. I had been badly bruised, cut and scratched, but nothing too serious was caused. When I was at the bottom of the mountain, it appeared that I was in a different location than when I started the ascent. Oh, so you rolled down the other side. Yeah, the Grinch picked him up and tossed him over the peak. Oh, fuck. A sign said Whoville on it, and I decided it was the best place to go for now. How I pulled a knife on the Grinch (laughs) and got my shit wrecked. (laughs) That should be the name of this story. (laughs) <laughs> and this how, is what... how the Grinch failed to steal Christmas? More like how, how the Grinch dude... fucked me up. How the Grinch fucked this dude up hard. <laughs> how I failed to intimidate the Grinch with my blade and instead got my shit pushed. Like, off a mountain. I'm lucky to still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled a knife on the Grinch and got his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled a knife on the Grinch and got his ass whooped. Like, he did. He really did. <laughs> like, why would you even like the Grinch? Like, serious talk. The Grinch is a pretty good movie. Like, I like the. St- it's a good story. Why? Why the fuck are you, you know, introducing you know, an OC who swears? You even. Know. You know what this guy heard? All he heard when he was rolling down the mountain was, You're Grinched! <laughs> <laughs> he, 
got Grinched bad. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> yeah. You pushed in his shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right that was the uh the miscellaneous movies pack of stories for you guys the most miscellaneous movie of all how the grinch stole christmas in this in this uh video we covered um an absolute summary of something delivered by an 80 year old woman (laughs) a story that couldn't even be described as just the setup it was just a collection of sentences and um and how somebody pulled a knife on the Grinch and got slapped. Yeah, or how I pulled a knife on the Grinch and got my ass whooped. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for joining us for this pack of videos. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>